Hey guys, Silent Seal here. Welcome back to another episode of Utha Macross Gacha videos. As you can tell from my voice, I'm feeling a lot better from the food poisoning that I just went through. Uh, I still have some bowel movements. I probably shouldn't have said that. But anyways, that's the situation that I'm in right now. Uh, at least I have the energy to do videos again. So let's dive down into all the information that is currently available. Uh, including the main gacha that we need to do for this video which belongs to Maki Maki. So let's take a look at the information page. Uh, I'm sure most of you who are curious enough to go through it will probably notice that um, you know they are re-releasing some of the 7 star episode plates. Um, of course Maki Na being the first one then followed by Min Mei um, and these gachas only last for a day. So for those of you who are watching this video today, hopefully you, you are because whenever they release a brand new featured gacha that actually has a single pool system, you will get that free single pool. So in the past, I didn't mention um, you know whenever they had those like um, Nyan Nyan exclusive gachas or maybe some of them are like the Makutoma um, help gachas you know they do have single free pools so just like that make sure after hearing all this information you, you keep that in mind and of course take advantage of all the single free pools available because if you recall from my last video <laughs> um, that was explaining the Kiawawa challenge if you have not checked that out, please go ahead and check it out, especially for those of you who have um, no clue on how to tackle certain of the challenges to attain those free rewards. So yeah, alright, so let's dive into the free single pools first to test out the luck. Of course, it's always a good way to try and attain costume points for some of these 7 star costumes. Um, that are usually a lot behind these 7 star episode plates. It's usually gachas like this that gives us costume point episode plates that might um, give us a chance to attain costumes from these 7 star episode plates. And once again, you can probably hear airplanes flying by my neighborhood. <laughs> Alright, so we do get an episode plate with costume points. Which is pretty good, um, considering how rare these are. Alright, so now that we've done that, let's do the daily 3 pool. At this point of time that I'm recording, it's still within the afternoon period. So far, the single pool luck has been pretty decent. I wonder if it will continue. Alright, let's see how rare of an episode play this is. It's a 3 star, and I don't have that many of it, so the luck seems to be pretty good. Um, but, you know, things might change comparing to all the past videos I've done. So let's do the free pool from the featured banner. Who knows, maybe this single free pool might just miraculously toss us a 5 star episode play. And then, of course, the template pool will end up horrible. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Okay. Alright, so no evolution on the box. Another 3 star episode plate. How rare is this one? Ooh. Pretty common, considering that I've got like 20 plus copies of it. Um, okay, we're gonna do the template pool from the Super Dimension Gacha first just to see how the luck really is because that last free pool is really worrying in my point of view so let's just do this I mean if we do get some episode plates that are nice from this Gacha pool I think that's okay as well because after all this Gacha is able to do 7 star episode plates alright oh 5 Valkyries Okay, a single red box on the first bling. Okay, we do get two rainbow boxes. So the luck might definitely just be 
spent all on this gacha. <laughs> Which is fine. Oh. Oh, I thought it was gonna evolve for a moment. Okay. You get Kumo Kumo's 5 star. Oh! 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 Whose episode plate will be? Oh! Okay, so it's another old 7 star episode plate that I already got fully evolved. So, Milane's 7 star is moving towards uh, slowly uh, plus 5 luck value. Okay, we do get a 7 star episode plate, like I mentioned. So, that's fine. Overall, pretty good pool, even though it's not the featured gacha. It's been a while since we've seen a 7 star, or rather a 6 star form. And apparently, Mikumo's episode play is new. Okay, but I already got this costume fully unlocked, so it's nice to have something added to the collection and, you know, getting more costume points to get more episode ops, which can be in turn used for unlocking new costumes, which I have no luck to getting the featured episode plates for. <laughs> so it's all good in my books. So let's do this. We're finally touching onto Makina's featured um, template discounted pool. I'm hoping that I can get at least an episode plate with costume points for it, because I really run I, I really want <laughs> the full set of Valkyrie ladies wearing their third life costumes. It's just a very, very cute uh, and idealistic costume design. I really, really like this costume set. <laughs> so, really hoping for it. Of course, we have to take in mind that we have to save some singing stones for Ray Ray's gacha that's coming up soon as well. Okay, we some, get some decent load speeds there. So hopefully the luck is still there. Ooh! So even though it's a golden orb, it doesn't mean we will get the featured episode plate. Wow! Straight off the bat. Oh wow! <laughs> okay, we get a bit of Ray Ray love. Will we get the Maki Ray combination? I hope it's the featured episode plate though. Alright, so we... Wow, we are really being tossed all the rare episode plates at the start. That's not a good sign. Hopefully they keep the last rainbow box for last. Okay. Here we go. Is it the... Oh. <laughs> okay, so it's not Makina's episode plate, but we do get 5 star episode plates, we get both green hat ladies. <laughs> oh, Kumo's episode plate is new. The evolve. Apparently, I've had it before. Okay, so one new evolution um, and a brand new episode plate for Ranka. I mean, technically, I've already unlocked this costume through episode ops. So, it's always nice to have a new episode play in the collection. And it has a pretty good life skill as well. Ray Race. Uh, oh, score repeat. That's not bad. Ooh! It has that special note attachment. So, overall, we pulled out a repeated 6 star episode plate for Milane. That's fine. Ray Race episode plate is definitely a plus in my books. Uh, any episode plug with special notes attached to it and getting extra copies to hopefully eventually get that plus 5 luck value or maybe to be ambitious a plus 25 luck value you know slowly work towards it you know but we still have yet to gain costume points for Makina's new costume so that's kind of a bummer for me so in this case uh, I, I'm, I'm gonna toss out the 500 Singing Stones. Um, I mean, I do have 300 Singing Stones on hand already for Ray Race. Oh dang, the neighbor is hammering away. 
So this is a problem when you're recording videos in the afternoon and when your neighbors are doing construction work. Uh, oh well. Anyway, ignore the noise guys, just pay attention to the gacha pool. We're gonna try, try our best to attain at least costume points for our rate, for Makina's um, new costume. And like I said, we have that 300 singing stones on standby for Ray Ray's gacha. So we can just expect bare minimum results. And I apologize once again. <laughs> Oh, the horrible hammering noise in this video. Oh, the lock is still there. Kind of. Okay, and one single red box on the first bling. So, as long as he costume points for the new costume, I'm pretty happy. Okay, come on, give me something new. There it is! Alright, I am satisfied with my care. <laughs> so yeah, we did not get the featured episode played. Well, who knows? Nah, definitely not. So yeah, that red box was definitely not going to evolve. So, getting costume points for the costume, looking at this banner right there, is all I need. So, even though yeah, we did not hit the main feature episode plate. Um, you know. Uh, oh! Oh! I just realized we have not done a breakdown <laughs> of the episode plate itself. Oh! I got so excited and, you know, doing the gacha video, I, you know, lost track of my actual <laughs> recording patterns. So let's take a look. At Re uh, Makina's new episode plate stats. Oh my goodness. That is so strange. Okay, so looking at the last page of the episode plate, um, yeah, it has no special notes attached to it. Definitely want to pay attention to the three other divas that can equip this episode plate. Strangely enough, Basara is linked to this plate. Hmm? <laughs> I guess it, it appeals to his gentle side. Alright, so. 3891! Wow, that's a pretty good total score. It's very close to the 3009, um, you know, best total score on the 6 star episode plate. Well balanced stats mostly all around, you know, just mainly focusing a bit, a bit more on soul. Center skill, life up. So units life is uh, increased by 40% up, so that's pretty okay. Active skill. Oh! What? It has its 10 second duration for 100% boost in score? Oh wow! So, okay. Let's put this um, straightforward right now. This is the best 6 star center position episode plate for Makina right now. <laughs> It has the stats of a new episode plate, but it has the old active skill abilities. Then look at the life skill. Score and damage improvement. I mean, that is just awesome in its own. It boosts other episode plates that has the ability of score and damage. So you will gain even more percentage in your high score achievement. You know, even, even if you guys are not maki Maki Maki's fans, this is definitely a must-have episode play, uh, even though it does not have a special note attached to it. The skills on it and the stats on this episode play is just overwhelming. Not the best total scores out there, but it's still good enough for a modern generation 6-star episode play, and it comes with a pretty good active skill, so even if you don't have any 7 star episode plates um, to use in your arsenal, you might want to consider using this um, you know, just as a 7 star episode plate replacement for the time being. You know, that's just a pretty awesome <laughs> episode plate. The life skill itself is just a bonus. Alright, so that's it. And all the gacha has been pulled. Guys, leave your thoughts in the comments down below. 
um, about the episode played your own pose and you know maybe a few nice words to hear that I'm back <laughs> and healthy <laughs> to do gacha videos for you guys and after this um, I'm just gonna go ahead and record more episodes of um, Pokemon Cafe Mix uh, for those of you who are still following me on the game even though we are kind of uh, one event behind <laughs> <laughs> and of course, if I do have a bit more energy, I will do another episode of uh, the Nonary Games, the Triple Nine story. So yeah, look forward to all the content that's coming soon, um, and maybe something brand new to the channel. Until then guys, do all the wonderful stuff, like, subscribe, share, and I'll see you guys in the next Utah Macross video. Bye!